In example two, um, then if we look at our initial statement, patient is awaiting a liver transplant, probability that the randomly selected donor is a match is 0.2. Find the expected number of donors that will have to be tested before finding a match. So we're looking at trials until we get a success. So uh, for example two, we're starting with a geometric distribution. Okay, and then a random sample of 20 patients awaiting liver transplants was selected and the number of donors tested for each patient before a match was found uh, was recorded. Okay, so for part A, we identify uh, that this is uh, a geometric distribution with a p-value of 0.2 and we want the expected number of donors. So we want the expected value of x, so 1 over p, 1 over 0.2, so it's equal to 5. Now in part two of this question we've got 20 different observations taken from geometric distributions. So for patient one uh, we would um, look at the number of donors tested um, before a match was found, and then the same for patient two and the same for patient three. So we're going to end up with uh, 20 observations, 20 values taken from geometric distributions. So 20 is our uh, n value, so uh, sample size. Okay, and um, that's going to be the n value that we can use for our central limit theorem. Uh, when estimating the probability. So we've got a number of different um, observations taken from geometric distributions here. Uh, there's your geometric and uh, we're considering the probability of the average number of donors. So we're considering the probability associated with x bar. So in order to find the distribution of x bar, we know what the expected value of x is. We've worked it out in the first part, um, but we're going to need to know the variance of x. So the variance of any geometric is 1 minus p over p squared. So we get the variance of x. We then divide that through by n, our sample size, to get our variance for x bar. So we end up with, under the central limit theorem, x bar approximates to a normal distribution with a mean of 5 and a variance of 1. And we've been asked to work out the probability that x bar is greater than 5.5. Okay, and then just routine from the calculator to get our answer. So this is potentially, this part B is potentially a kind of confusing idea, confusing question. I think the key is, um, when you have been asked the probability, it's to estimate the probability that the average number of donors to be tested per patient. Okay. And because it's the average number of donors to be tested that you're wanting to find the probability of, that's your prompt that it's a probability associated with x bar and not x. And that's your prompt to think you're going to have to use the central limit theorem. And then you just needed to think carefully about what your n value was, what your number of, um, what your sample size was, okay, so that you could uh, set up your central limit theorem approximation.